Hello everybody, this is Teddy Wilson with Seekers of Yahweh Ministries and many times I get questions and I had some suggestions from some of the brethren here. Uh, you hear me talking a lot about cutting wood and what we do for a living up here? Well, this is one of the places that um, I cut my firewood to sell to uh, make a living up here. Very hard work. Um, but some Mennonite friends of mine own this place, it's a pole yard and uh, this is their scrap pile and they allow me to come down here and work out of it when I'm not dropping trees. And this is my old Chevy truck. And I fill it up and sell it for $40 a truckload. <laughs> Hallelujah. But praise Yahweh that he has blessed me uh, with uh, people who show favor to those who they know are seeking the word. And like I say, they're, they're Mennonites here. Um, we've had several discussions about the word. And I just pray that Yahweh uses me to be an example. I pray for them and I thank Yahweh for them because it's providing for me. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour and then I'm going to show you uh, how I go through the process of doing all of this. Uh, if I'm not selling random links, which is cheaper because I don't have to cut it, I could just haul it. Uh, load it and haul it is the best way to get, get your day done, but most people around here want everything cut up into uh, stove size. So that's anywhere from uh, 17 to 18 inches in length. So I've got uh, all of my stuff here. This is how I do it. And uh, let me go ahead and show you show you around a little bit. So there you see I build skids to keep my saw out of the dirt. Uh, there's one at the back of the truck, on the other side of the truck, and on this side of the truck right there. You'll see that I dig the dry wood out of the pile because a lot of this stuff is green. So but this is the pile that I'm working out with. And those are grain fields over behind us there. And see all the wood, all their poles they've got cut up back there. This is uh, where I end up getting, there's their, that's where they work. Up there, that's their mill. And then over behind that, we have a foundry where they pour metal parts. And then here you see, a bunch of poles made. They sell wholesale up there. And a shop where they also finish the, uh, the pole cutting up there as well. And you see all this wood stacked around for acres, acres and acres of it. So uh, this is where my day usually begins if I'm not dropping trees or anything like that so there's two of my saws uh, there's the big one I use there to drop trees I run steels uh, many of you who have uh, spoken to me on the phone you know that <laughs> I say if I if, if I hear the phone ringing I can get to it and it's right there over the dash of the truck you see it um, so many times uh, you have to leave a message but hallelujah uh, and there's the small saw that I use out of this pile there and my gas can and so everybody's gonna get a shot today of what Teddy Wilson does for a living you know many times I look at this pile of wood and I I can't help but to reflect on scripture you know how how the branches have been broken off and they just set in this pile that has been cast out of the forest and they sit here and dry in piles until somebody hauls it off to burn it. So many things go through my, through my mind scripturally throughout the day when I'm doing this stuff because it's embedded in me. It's, Yahweh's word is embedded in me and he speaks to us through his creation. Uh, it all gets cut up, hauled off, and burned. And that's a sad state of much of the nation of Israel at this time as well. So, it's been chilly lately out here in Idaho. It's been getting down to sometimes 29. But once you start running this chainsaw, you warm up pretty quick. So, I got my little seat seats so that they don't get caught in the chainsaw. I just made those uh, recently because... I wanted to start wearing them even when I work, but the longer ones, they'll get caught in the chainsaw. So I made those and always got my back brace on and always say a prayer. Father, I just pray that you will protect me as I work 
that you would bless these people for giving me the opportunity to work. And I just pray that you'll be my strength throughout this day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So here's what Teddy Wilson does for a living, everybody. But there's other things you can do up here. And we invite you to come and fellowship with us and maybe look around in the surrounding areas. We have forest all around us. But we're on a we're on a small platform up here, what we call a prairie. And uh, it, we're about 3,700 feet here. But down the hill, it's, it's not quite so cold and everything. And there's forest all around us. Just, it's just a really beautiful place. Hallelujah. What Teddy Wilson does besides bring the word, do immersions, and fellowship. We must all labor, provide for ourselves, and for those around us who can't provide for themselves. So once again, this is what we do up here. I do pray that uh, everybody has a blessed day. May Yahweh bless you and keep you, and may his face shine upon you and show favor to you. So this is the back of the building where the basement is. And this is where we do a lot of unloading because we have two huge wood furnaces here. And I've got to keep the brethren warm <laughs> while they're here. So uh, this is where a lot of it goes. When I'm not selling wood, I'm bringing it here to keep the place thawed out for the winter. And that's our primary heat when we're fellowshipping is the wood furnaces and believe me <laughs> sometimes we get it hot enough to run you out of there hallelujah Also haul wood out to all the brothers that fellowship here to try to help them make it through the winter and keep their homes warm. So anytime y'all want to come out and fellowship, we could use some help. <laughs> Yahweh bless y'all. Stand my ground.